download from Triple J. For more music, current affairs, comedy and culture, triplej.net.au. And now... Triple J. Triple J. Triple J. Triple J Mornings with Zan. Uh, it's chill. I don't really think about it much. Uh, I, I just figured out I'm, like, kind of famous, like, this morning. I don't feel like it, but I just, like, was like, oh, shit. Like, all right, these people could stop coming up to me. And it's cool, though. I can't even complain. Well, I noticed that you skated in here to the hotel this morning and you kind of pretty, you know, chilled, making your own way around town. Are a lot of people coming and stopping you and wanting to meet you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I am a tall black dude skating around with an all-over print purple shirt, so it's kind of hard not to notice me. But, I mean, no complaints. I'm a fucking walking paradox. No, I'm not. Threesomes with a fucking triceratops. Reptar, rapping as I'm mocking deaf rock stars. Wearing synthetic wigs made of Anwar's dreadlocks. Bedrock, harder than a motherfucking Flintstone. Making crack rocks out of pussy nigga fish bones. This nigga Jasper trying to get grown. About five, seven of his bitches in my bedroom. Well, there is that idea that you seemingly came from nowhere, but you guys and, you know, Odd Future and, and, and Tyler the Creator has been existing for a few years now. It's just in the last few months that all of a sudden, yeah, everyone's paying attention. So why now? What do you think it is about 2010, 2011 that people have suddenly started to take notice of what you guys are doing? Uh, I don't know. Probably because, like, I guess we do and say shit people always wanted to do and say. So everyone's finally, that part where they're like, F*** it, I want to say that. They, they're starting to say, F*** it, we like these dudes. So that part of them is like getting attracted to it. Do you think that hip hop has become a little bit safe, a little bit tame, and that's why you guys are getting a lot of attention? Uh, yeah, it got gay. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to be one of those dudes. Real hip hop. Only listen to shit from the '90s because I hate those dudes. I hope they die, but it's gotten kind of gay. So I guess we kind of change that. Or stand out at least. Yeah, we stand out at least. I don't want to say change because that sounds corny, but. I mean, we're not, I don't want to say we're anything different, but we're not like what's out now in music, period. I don't want to say hip-hop because I hate genres, but like in music. I'm an overachiever, so how about I start a team of leaders and pick up Stevie Wonder to be the wide receiver. Green paper, gold teeth, and pregnant gold retrievers, all I want. Money, diamonds, and bitches don't need them. I've seen you perform on, you know, plenty of videos. I saw you perform yesterday at South by Southwest alongside your other friends in, in Mellow Hype. It seems like what you're doing is obviously definitely trying to get a, a reaction. Do you like to mess with people in that regard and kind of shake people out of just sitting there or standing there quietly and observing something, kind of involving them in the performance? Or people in general. I lied and told you my name was what, Jason? But it sucked because you already knew that my name wasn't Jason. But I like f***ing with people in general. I was always pulling pranks when I was younger, so I just like f***ing with people. It's fun. And what about, like, rapping about, I guess, taboo things, like rape, I guess, most obviously? Is that about f***ing with people as well? Um, I mean, it's, it's not really about f***ing with people. Like, some of those songs, they don't really listen deeper. Like, I have a song called Blow, where the whole thing is about me picking up girls and drugging them and shit. And they're like, oh, he's just talking about rape. But I would read a lot. And it was times where I read about f***ing dictators, like, the power that they had, like Mussolini and f***ing Mobutu and shit. Then it was times where I just wanted to read about murderers and serial killers and shit. Wrote a song from the mind state of Ted Bundy and how he would use his sweet charm and his good looks and like his smooth talking to pick up beautiful women. And then he'll just, you know, he'll just f them up, rape them, whatever you want to call it. But it was a way that he did it that was just so charming and chill. So I wanted to write a song from his mind state. And people don't really sit and listen to the whole concept of the song. They just like, oh, he's just talking about fucking rape again and having sex with a fucking table. So you can dig deeper and find more. Yeah, if you if you just actually sit and listen, and I just put it into a box or just uh, okay, that's another song. You actually see how cool this shit is. There's a lot of darkness in the stuff that you're attracted to and the stories that you're telling. Why do you think you're attracted to the darker side of human nature? I mean, everyone has dark thoughts. I mean, people are actually afraid to admit. Like, who hasn't thought of suicide has been through everyone's head at least once? Everyone, you know, sometimes at home alone think of shit that eats them up inside. That's really dark that they don't tell people. 
I just happen to be one of the people who say f***ing and say some of the shit people want to say. Do you think that now that more people are taking notice and paying attention, it's going to change what you guys do? No, nah, I'm going to always do what I want to do, you know? The thing that people don't get is progression. You know, so many people might be stuck on Bastard, my first album. They might not even like my second shit. But that's where people f*** up is because people want to make their first album again because everyone liked it. But no, it's progression and... I'm in a different state of mind. I have a little money in my pocket where I could go to Wendy's and get food or I don't have to starve and shit. Like, I'm in a whole different position. I'm not going to rap about the shit I did on my first album. You could ride in hearses. I'm sick in the brain, dumb bitch. Can you nurse this? You told me life would never, ever, ever get this perfect. Then you smoke a J and weed and take his kids to the church. I've only heard one or two songs off Goblin, which is going to be out, uh, I think, around June time on XL. You've signed to a label. You've got this new record coming out. There's going to be a huge audience listening to it. Tell me about this record. We don't know anything about it. What's the, what's the vibe of Goblin? Um, I've been working on it since... The day I dropped Bastard, I dropped Bastard Christmas of 09. So I've been working on it since then. I don't know. It's just the past year, basically, and one. Shit I think about, experiences, head I've gotten from bitches, you know, just little shit, the fun I've had. So it's literally the past year in, like, one thing. And uh, when it gets dark on there, it gets dark. When it gets really light with, like, girls, songs I write about females and shit, it gets really light. You'll just have to hear it. It's a really chill album. I'm really happy for it.